Um, is there a reason you guys want to go with bigger injectors versus multiport on BA 3.0T? What are the advantages and disadvantages? We have seen what multiport can do. You think bigger injectors can do more? Um, well, to be fair, you've seen a dyno chart. If one I'm one random. It's not, that doesn't explain the whole story of drivability, of the transition, of the um, you know the day to day living with it. Yeah, um, there's a lot of hype. So there's there's a, there's a very big difference between developing a, a, a chart um, or a poll and developing a nice uh, you know develop right. a refined file that's going to be you know have proper bank to bank fueling and trimming and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's but, there's a, there's a lot more that goes into it. Yeah, but yeah. the the keeping di versus going uh, multi port um, we're not locked into stone on anything. Um, ideally, di should be the most cost effective straightforward reliable it's way to go much easier install uh, much easier install much less complicated much less um yeah just hassle it's it's also the best way to ensure that the fuel is actually in the combustion chamber it's a much better way to inject fuel yeah, into the even though it's, yeah. there's injectors injecting in the ports you can get quite a bit cylinder cylinder variation yeah. with with reversion and we used to see this a lot in and you know port injection during our port injection days where some cylinders would, would be starved even though yeah. there was supposedly you know the same amount of fuel being injected yeah and do, doing uh okay. mpi injection always it's a challenging um uh just system to manage a lot of people overlook the fact that with an mpi system inherently um and i'm not saying you know you know that you can't run it or it's it's it won't work but there are considerations a lot of people don't don't think of like you've got this very lean charge of fuel uh, usually coming into the cylinder first um, before the di injector comes in you're getting what you're supplementing it with um, from your port injector into the chamber um, so you've got to be really careful about how you apply that how it's getting into the chamber and what that mixture is doing before you inject the remainder of your fuel uh, uh, fuel demand from the di injector so um, yeah it's yeah and it's it, not nearly as installing six, six injectors is and flashing a tune is so much easier than doing for it doing a di side yeah yeah di only but um like nate said it's not to say we couldn't do di uh, mpi it's just we we can we obviously are, are have both choices yeah. i think for the other company out there mpi is their only option and they're partnering with someone who already did all the engineering on that so they're now you know working on calibrating something for it but what they did is a, is a limitation of their capabilities we don't have any limitations we, we do we do advanced hardware engineering and software engineering and everything in between we do it all here we don't rely on we have mpi stuff in the works as well just because you know we're trying to keep it di um it's been obviously just the development path has been long <laughs> so we're, we're working on a number of different solutions so we're not locked into anything but we'd ideally like to keep it all di if we can mm -hmm. it would be the best uh best option in my opinion